Welcome to Workday. This video demonstrates how to change your payment elections. For this demo, I'm logged in as Brian Kaplan. To start, access your pay worklet and click the Payment Elections link. From here, you can view your payment distributions. You determine how your payment will be distributed by direct deposit, checks, or even a combination of the two. This distribution is determined by you, but is limited by payment rules set up by your organization. If you exceed the number of allowable payment elections, Workday will display a warning message when you try to create an additional election. Based on your organization's payment rules, you may not see all available pay types and payment elections, but you will always see regular payments. Click Add Account to create a new payment election. In this example, Brian receives a single direct deposit to his personal checking account that includes his entire paycheck. If he wants to add an additional direct deposit election, he must first add the account itself. Fill in the account information to add an account. Be aware that Workday validates the routing transit number but cannot validate the account number. I'll fill out the required fields that are marked with a red asterisk and click OK. Now that the bank account has been added, it can be used to change any current election for regular, bonus, or other payment types. To create a new election using this new account, select the Change Election button. Click the plus icon to insert a row and add a new election, or you can simply modify this election. For instance, if you have changed the bank you use, you will be able to delete the other bank account if desired, but only once it is no longer being used as a payment election. Enter the country of the new election. The currency defaults in based on the country election. In this example, we're adding another direct deposit for a fixed dollar amount. I'll select Direct Deposit and then choose the new account from the prompt list. Mark the Amount button to enter the portion of pay you want to delegate to the new account. In this case, I'll enter $500. Any remainder will continue to go to the original account listed. Once the amount has been entered, click OK to submit the change. Now we have indicated that Brian will receive $500 of his pay in his new bank account. The remainder will go to his personal checking account. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you for using Workday.